Hello YouTube people, today I wanna compare two self homages, Adias Dive and Pagani Design. <laughs> so I already did a review on both of these watches, if you wanna watch these reviews, the link is in the description. And when I did a review on this Adias Dive, I mentioned that it would be interesting to compare it to this Pagani Design. If I would have Pagani Design 1661 uh, stainless steel version and this one at the same time, which one would I sell and which one would I keep? It's not as easy to answer this question. And one of you lovely subscribers contacted me, offered me to buy your Pagani Design watch, which I did. Thank you, wonderful watch. And quick side note, this is Pagani 2021 year model and it is slightly different from the previous year 2020 model. And about those differences, sometimes later in the future when I'm gonna do the review of this beautiful golden Pagani design watch. But now let's compare Pagani 2021 model versus this Adias Dive. Both sub homages, so obviously they look the same from the distance and measurements are almost identical as well. And so they have a lot of similar things like the same movement, Seiko NH35A, good movement. Uh, they both have sapphire crystals and sapphire cyclops, ceramic bezels. Uh, both have bracelets that are solid links, solid end links, but similarities kinda end there. And here starts the differences. So in no particular order, let's talk about the differences. First difference which I would like to mention is the hands, especially our hand. You see Pagani Design has this bigger Mercedes hand that has this kind of nice curvature. And Adias Dive is smaller, it's just completely flat and it's kind of cheap looking hand to be honest. Another difference is the dial. Adias Dive has this black glossy finish dial which looks rich, looks, looks nice. And Pagani Design has this kind of, in my opinion, dull looking uh, matte finish dial with slight sunburst effect. I wish it was glossy finish black dial as Adias Dive. So. And another difference is the loom. Adias Dive has this crazy loom, even the bezel is fully loomed. Although the loom is different from the bezel and hands and indexes. I wish the loom was the same but the loom is very strong. Pagani Design has this blue loom which initially doesn't look strong but uh, from my experience it is almost as long lasting as this crazy Adias Dive loom. Another thing which I would like to mention is the action of the bezel because Adias Dive bezel is horrible. <laughs> A lot of back play, the whole bezel wobbles and it has no friction, completely loose and Pagani Design has actually a very good bezel and I think this is one of those uh, things what Pagani Design has improved over the previous year model because those bezels on Pagani used to be very loose and it also has no friction, alignment is off and on this year model alignment is perfect, friction is pretty good, although I still wish there would be a little bit more friction, but it's still it's pretty good. So no back play, no wobbly, very good bezel action on this year Pagan design. I can't say that they're all gonna be the same because we all know how it goes with quality control. I hope they have improved on that, but I can't really speak about that, I don't know. And another thing is that Pagani Design has this display case bag. But that's why Pagani Design has only 100 meters water resistance. Where Adias Dive doesn't have this display case bag, but that is why it has 200 meters of water resistance. Another little difference is the bracelet itself. You see, Pagani Design has this very nice tapering down. Uh, makes this watch look a little bit more elegant, a little bit lighter on the eyes, in my opinion. Adidas Dive doesn't really have this much of a tapering down. So, Pagani wins this one, in my opinion. And speaking about bracelet, let's move towards the clasp. And Pagani Design has this milled, very strong, good feeling clasp. Except straight out of the box, it has very sharp edges. 
but these edges are very easy to fix takes no more than 10 minutes and you have wonderful clasp while ADS dive clasp is basically unfixable it is it's horrible biggest negative points about this ADS dive is that indexes and hands are kind of beige yellowish color and uh, numbers on the bezel are completely white so this color mismatch just doesn't look nice and Pagani design has completely white indexes hands and numbers on the bezel no color tint whatsoever completely white looks very nice very clean and there is another difference uh, that Adidas dive has this blue anti-reflective coating on the sapphire crystal well, Pagani doesn't have but I wouldn't call it anti-reflective coating because all it does it just makes those reflections look blue and so here's the difference like Pagani design looks completely white and Adidas dive looks a little bit blue <laughs> that's all the difference really so obviously for me Pagani design wins this comparison so what about the ratings where I'm gonna put watches on my tier list in thomaswatchreviews.com Adidas dive goes into not bad because after all you see 80 euros 90 euros you get a lot of watch for the price really a lot of watch and I kind of see how some people might choose Adidas dive over Pagani design because it has stronger loom it has anti-reflective coating and uh, the dial is black glossy finish you know they have differences so you may prefer the Addis dial so it's not a bad watch uh, for the price so it goes into category called not bad and Pagani design in my opinion is you know it's a little bit next level watch a lot better quality really well done watch actually so yeah Pagani goes into keepers thank you for watching have a beautiful day goodbye